Hello everybody, it's Riff Raff Hornhelm back again with another presentation from the Dwarven Vault. And today, we have a character review. We're going to jump back into the world of Delicious and Dungeon, which is a wonderful uh, Dungeons & Dragons themed show that is running currently on Netflix. Highly recommended with the International Man of Mystery in there, Senshi, but we're not looking at Senshi today. Today, we're going to take a look at Laos. And to do that today, we have our good friend, Red Hornhelm. He's going to do the presentation on Laos. So I'm going to pass you over to Red, and I will talk to you afterwards. Enjoy! Hello, everyone. Red Hornhelm here. Good to see you all again. And I'm here today to give you a character review on a very interesting character. And that would be Laos, who is the chief of the group and the head fighter in Delicious and Dungeon. Wonderful show. If you haven't watched it, definitely want to do so. But we're here to talk about Laos today. Last time, I wasn't allowed to talk about Senchi, so I get to do Laos today. And Laos is one very strange character. On the one hand, he's the leader of the party, and he is... Uh, nonchalantly competent in many cases. But there's another side to him. And he's a psychopath. And I think that's pretty obvious because of this weird, creepy obsession that he has with eating monsters. Now I understand eating monsters as a means of survival when you're in a dungeon. Okay, that, that makes some sense to me. I, I get it. But this thing where he wants to eat them all and he asks people some very odd and disturbing questions and he gets sick all the time from eating stuff that he probably shouldn't have or at least not the way in which he ate it um very strange so kind of a mixed bag on this character half the time pretty normal on top of his game pretty good in spite of only three years of experience he is like i said somewhat weirdly competent at times but the rest of the time, creepy. So in terms of how he looks, I mean, you can see here, plate mail, no helmet, fair-haired, looks pretty average, carries a sword, uh, is a competent fighter, certainly within the context of the game, he comes across as a competent fighter. He is a, uh, he's definitely a interesting character. He has not yet had an epic success. No two ways about it. Now, the story arc is such that I'm anticipating that he will have one in the future. And we'll just have to come back and talk about it when that happens. In the meantime, his successes are average to slightly better than average. So when we look at his epic successes right now, we're going to be kind and give him a six. Not the best score, but he hasn't really done much yet. However, we also have to talk about his epic failures. I, he makes up for it there. Now, once again, if you haven't seen this show, you probably want to see it before I talk about this next part because it happens in the first 10 minutes. And that's Laios losing his sister gets eaten by a dragon. And why? Because Laios is too hungry and too distracted to pay attention in the middle of a fight with a red dragon. Seriously? It's a pretty epic failure. Now his hope is that they can find and slay the dragon and get his sister's body back before it's fully digested to see if they can resurrect it. That's a pretty sorry brother. That's a pretty epic failure. In talking with our extended Hornhelm family, Everybody said that as a failure goes, oh yeah, that's way up there. They see that as a nine. Okay, so we got a nine on the one side for an epic, epic failure. We have a six on the other side as his epic success, up to 15 so far. So what did we think of him overall? 
well, in discussion with the rest of the Hornhound clan, this is a very conflicted character. He's kind of like the uh, prototypical uh, failure when it comes to uh, his intentions versus his actual results. Now, we think it's going to get better, but we also think that he's kind of dangerous to be around right now. Um, in terms of being in our party, eh, not so sure about that. In terms of his overall confidence, how he's done, everything else, uh, we're also going to put that right now at about a six, maybe a seven, but we're going to say six. So you've got a 15 total so far. Add the six to a 21. That's a pretty respectable score. We think it's going to get better, but time will tell. And in the meantime, he keeps doing dumb things and, well, I guess then she says it best, tastes like ass. We see way too much of that from Lyles. Want to see that get better in the future, but we do think he's a lot of fun to watch. Hope you enjoyed this today. If you did, you know what to do. I'm going to pass you back to Riff Raff. Take care, everyone, and remember, I'm Red Hornhelm. You're not. Well, no question about the fact that Lyos is uh, an interesting psychopath uh, uh, character. Well, we certainly enjoy watching Lyos. He's a very quirky character who has some very uh, creepy hang-ups. In any case, hope you enjoyed. If you did, give us a like. Subscribe. Come back and see us again real soon. And remember, dwarves rock.